Okay, it's just a reading here. Today is November 5th, 2024. The time for me is 12.18 a.m. This is a brand new Pisces reading. No projecting, a clear understanding, or truthful understanding now. This reading may resonate with you, and it may not, so take what is, leave the rest. Only my angels and ancestors are allowed to this reading I'm about to get ready to do for you guys. If you're coming back, hey, if you're new, welcome to my channel. I do take personals at it is just a reading at gmail.com. Please be payment ready so I can start your reading. I do not like to waste my time or yours. You could like, you could dislike, you can leave a comment. Just be respectful to me and be respectful to others. Remember, tarot is your future, your past, and your present. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Readings can be hijacked with different energies. I cannot help that. Cross watchers, you are welcome. All genders are welcome. But this is specifically for Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising. Hope you guys had a safe Halloween. Let's not waste no time, Pisces. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. I missed you guys. It's almost the end of the year, y'all. We got to go ahead and release a lot of things up out of our energy, up out of our life. Things that don't suit us anymore. If people's actions ain't popping out, don't keep listening to he said, she said, or woulda, coulda, shoulda. Like I said, that don't pay the bills. For Pisces, your first card. You got the chariot that came out of reverse. This is cancer energy here. You have cancer in your chart. Hmm. Something could be blocked here. just not going as planned here you may be facing some type of opposition somebody here that's in your way somebody could be trying to come your way but who is this Sorry, y'all. Somebody could have lost their power here or feeling forced. You got the Empress that came out of reverse. Okay, who was blocked here? You got somebody that's blocked. It's saying patience to your body, dependence, negligence. Are y'all not paying attention to yourselves here? Somebody may be letting themselves go. I don't know if this is you, Pisces, or this is somebody else. Empress in reverse, though. Feminine power. Are you feeling insecure about something? These are all coming out in reverse. You got justice here in reverse. Guilt, blame, karmic. Okay, somebody wasn't trying to balance out here. Okay, it's a lot of injustice here. Let me see something here, y'all.
It could be like some type of, I don't know, this could be somebody else's energy too. Whoever these, whoever this is. Somebody here not really feeling themselves. Whoever this is. This could very well be y'all too that's not really feeling y'all inner self here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, we got these back in order. Okay, so you had the Empress, the Chariot, and Justice coming out in reverse. Seven of Cups at the bottom. What's going on? Somebody here feeling guilty, taking the blame. This could be a baby mother some type of baby father you got your energy right here with the hangman underneath that chariot you about to let go of something with the ace of wands because somebody was trying to block you here well, who the fuck was this somebody could be jealous here who is this whoever was trying to block you is not going to be blocking you A king of swords. All right, you got strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here with this justice, strong Libra. Right here with the devil. Okay. I don't know who this is. It look like you got some people here that want to take you down. You got some haters in the building. You've been looking at things from a new perspective. You're not really... you having like a, a new awakening. you letting go of a lot of shit here. You're allowing other shit to come in. With this Ace of Coins, a new beginning here. And you got this Ace of Wands here that's going to help you, you know... Um, You got a lot of ideas here, but you got the ace of ones that came out in reverse. I mean, you got a lot. It's something. Somebody trying to block something here. Who is this? Okay, this energy already coming off. Like, I don't like them. Who are you? This is a, a mean king of swords. Somebody who's like, who likes power. A two of coins. Somebody that's trying to juggle something. Priorities fucked up. Okay. So they already got me taking a deep breath. That devil act like he want to hurry up and come the fuck out. He going to come out tonight. You got people here who don't want to see you. Okay. What is this about? This is not your energy. You got the four coins. Four pentacles. That's somebody that's holding on. In a tight knit situation here. Possessive about what they have and don't want to lose it. Talk about this chariot getting reversed. Who's this person with this lack of direction? Facing uh facing problems here. This could be somebody that you dealing with in an ace of cups. But then again, I feel like somebody trying to block this. 
You finna get ready and face some up some some stuff right here with somebody that you're dealing with. Ace of Cups, it could be somebody that's coming in with new love, a new partner, a new relationship, or this could be an old person coming in with a new cup. Because you got the moon here. And this is secrecy, illusions, not being certain about something here. Okay, what's going on? Who in moon energy? This is Pisces. A Knight of Wands. You got Leo Sagittarius Aries here. This is a flirt, a flirtatious type of person. Okay, um, remember, this is future, past, or present. This could be somebody that's in present time, coming in the near future. This is somebody, somebody from your past. But you got somebody here with this type of energy where they may get you off balance. They may kind of like tip you off focus here. And this might be a young, chaotic type of woman or man here. Strong Sagittarius energy here with this Knight of Wands. They're like a flirt. They rebel. They're very energetic. They're a charmer. They come off very exciting. They look good. They sexy. They very good looking in the face. They look well. They got a nice body too. Somebody might come up in here with some type of fool energy. Because I seen that fool card. Might try to fool you. Why is Empress in reverse? Why is she in reverse? You got the page of cups that came out in reverse. Okay, somebody finna come and trick you out. They may come in. Uh, the page of cups is somebody that's really like stupid what they love. They don't have like a plan. They haven't chilled. They haven't healed their inner child. They could be very possessive, manipulative because they're a younger energy. Now this could very well be your child too, because the empress is a mother. And this could be your child that doesn't want you talking to somebody here. Maybe they don't want you to date right now. I'm getting that for some of you guys. Because you got the son here. And what do we know? A child is right here on this horse. They may feel like they're, they may feel like, you know, they're your happiness. You don't need anybody else. You do got a jealous kid here that or daughter or son who don't want to see their mama move on. Or Papa move on here. I'm getting that energy as well. I'm also getting somebody that is a younger male or female. Or somebody who's older that just got a immature ass soul about them. That kind of wants to keep you stuck in a situation here. Because they depend on you. This person could be very manipulative, Pisces. Be careful. This could be another water sign. Talk about this page of cups. I don't think y'all see this coming. And I think this person could get anybody they want, too. They coming in with this four of wands. Like, they want a home and a wedding. And they want that love. But they're also confusing here. Because they don't actually have a plan. Because maybe you are married to this person or whatever. But this person don't have no plan. You got these two people here. That tied the knot. And they're very known here in the community. People are happy for them. You see that these happy people in the back. These, you know, beautiful, happy people in the back. That's like, oh, my God. They tied the knot. I would have never believed that. You know, they really are happy. But then you got confusion here. There's something that's not clear yet. I don't know if it got something to do with finances or what. But... Something is always lacking. Are you not clear about this person on what they going to do in the future? Or whoever these people is. Yeah, with that ace of coins at the bottom. King of cups slid out right here with the page of coins and the ten of cups. And that king of cups look good. Okay. Talk about justice. Why is justice in reverse? Guilt and blame. Karmic, avoiding something. Not trying to take things in consideration here. And own up to what the fuck they done. Somebody trying to avoid uh, justice is crazy. Because let me tell you. 
you're going to still get what's served to you. Ten of Wands here. Are you tired? Ten of Wands, somebody that has too much on their plate. Queen of Coins. Yeah, I feel like y'all are the what? Queen of Wands. So pretty. Y'all bring too much to the table here. Is that the issue? Talk about this Ten of Wands. You got the seven of wands in reverse with the nine of coins in reverse. Okay, Pisces, it's like y'all finna get ready and sit some stuff down, or this person's about to sit some things down. You got the seven of wands in reverse, and the seven of wands up is somebody that's gonna fight, stand up for what they believe in, strong, brave, persistent. When it's in reverse, that means somebody stepping down, ain't trying to fight. You know, they they surrendering. Um, and then you got the nine of coins. You are enough. This is in reverse. You work too hard and you give too much. And you need to stop doing this. Three of Wands. Talk about it, Hangman. This is you, Pisces. You're Hangman. Does Pisces need to let go? Here you go with the high priestess. Strong feminine energy here. Pisces, I don't think you telling people what you finna do. You guys been coming off very mysterious, just keeping very quiet and stuff like level-headed. You haven't been saying much. Y'all been quiet while people have been talking around you. It's like they're waiting for you to reciprocate. But you don't really have much to say. You're not really talking loud or boisterous like you was. You're staying real calm. A lot of y'all, y'all let y'all let y'all shit out. Something got something to do with lovers, people around you. This is Gemini energy. Lovers in reverse, it could be infidelity, no connection here. And trust issues. Okay, and why? With this Ace of Pentacles, it's going to be a new offer coming your way. You knew a lot of things about what was going on around you. And you stayed quiet. I think that's what was pissing people off the most is the fact that you were staying quiet. You didn't really say much. You spoke when you needed to. But the times that you didn't have to or you felt like it wasn't necessary, you didn't do it. And I feel like that was the problem here. You was just taking it all in. All the all the, the drama and the panic and the shame and the bullying and the the shit talking here. Cause there was a lot of it was a lot of disconnect and like a lot of disconnect here. Somebody wasn't connecting with you on the right levels here. 
But you may be meeting somebody here with this Ace of Coins. With temperance, balance, staying focused, feet on land, feet on water. Talk about the Ace of Wands in reverse. You got the Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody was feeling empty here for a while. Yep, with temperance. But you're getting you're gonna get ready and balance this all out. Nine of Cups came out in reverse. There wasn't any type of peace. No type of bonding. Yep. And you got the devil that came out crossing. I feel like the devil still wants to come in and intervene in your life, bro. I feel like it's like 50 50 here. It's like they, it's like whoever these people is or whatever, these addictions, the people who's watching you or person wants to still kind of come in and deal with you. It's like 50 50. It's like you juggling good and evil. Pisces, you so brave. You may have had addictions in the past here with over obsessing about certain things. Stuff that you didn't need in your life here with that devil crossing. But you done found tranquility. You done found harmony. I feel like y'all becoming at y'all slowly becoming at peace here. Y'all gonna build this legacy right here with this ten of coins. All money gonna come your way too. Talk about that king of swords in reverse. Who is this cold, shallow person? Could have been somebody that you shared a friendship with. You got the star here. This king of swords could want some type of reunion with you or want to talk to you and be friends again. They could be staying calm, trying to reassure themselves that things will get back to where they were. There's been a divorce here. The tower has already happened with this Queen of Cups. You got the Three of Cups right here with the star in the tower. This shit fell. It was a sudden turn. It was a wrong turn. And whatever happened between this friendship or whatever, it got destroyed but maybe somebody still wants this right here whatever happened here it did end it was a friendship here it was a good time it was a lot of fun and then you had the star here somebody that's all about serenity hope and faith and healing and stuff here so there was a turn a turn did happen for you Talk about this two of cups. I mean, two of coins. You got the will of fortune that is in reverse here. This was a turning point for your life here in the reverse card right here with the will. This was a karmic situation. I think it puts you in a in a in a tough 
tough little spot, tough position. It really did. I feel like y'all still think about the little times that this is done cause havoc on your life. Like, why did that even go down the way it did? I mean, damn, that really happened to me, you know? And I feel like this all was a lesson that needed to be learned here. Why right here with this Wheel of Fortune? You got the Four of Cups in reverse. When it's up, this means that somebody's bored, not satisfied here. Not trying to take no type of offers from anybody. Just looking straight ahead, not worried about what's coming in, what's what's on its way, you know. Just not even thinking like that, just in a daze. But you're in the reverse card with this cup. And I feel like now y'all are going to get more focused. I feel like you guys are going to want... You guys, you guys want love still. You guys still want to engage and still be, you know. Still want this. Because this was a bad loss for you guys. You guys had a bad breakup. Well, whoever these people was. This could have been a split from one of your children. Like I said, just giving you a hard time. Family members, boyfriend, girlfriend. Like I said, suit whoever fits. But whoever these people or person was, you had to split from these people. And a lot of stuff happened online too, you know. Six of Swords, you got so much stuff coming ahead of you. And it's going to be a restoration where so much shit that was damaged is going to get built back together. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So your life is going to be put back together. I think you guys are waiting for this. Because you guys were in some rough times here. Four of Coins. What's still holding on, though? What's still holding on? I still feel like someone is here and that's still that's still holding on though. And I feel like maybe they need to let go. Talk about the Scorpio energy with death. You had that five of swords. Eight of Swords, Six of Swords in reverse. All right, you got somebody here that's still holding on to you, though. I feel like you guys already came with terms with everything being fucked up, and you just say, hey, whatever. You know what I mean? Y'all don't put your hands up. But whoever this person is, they haven't. This person draining my damn energy out. All right. It's somebody here that's just sorry. They draining me. I don't know who this is, but they just ain't got over something here. Okay, we're going to see who this person is. Why is the devil crossing? And what's going on with this tower? Yeah, 
Yeah, this stuff don't seem right. You know? So she's got like a lingering energy here. Someone ain't really came to terms on what happened between you and them. Because they're still trying to figure out why you keep popping up in their energy. And they may think that it's you that's still holding on. But let me tell you something about energy, right? Energy don't last long, especially when the person has left the party, okay? Parties are filled with energy, right? If a, if a person that you was dealing with or that person that, you know, say, well, for this instance, the person, um, this person that was dealing with you, if you left the party, the energy ain't going to be there no more. It might be still a lingering sensation, but your actual energy isn't there unless you keep it there. I feel like y'all done got up out of there. So the energy isn't there physically no more or just you just dishing it out. But they probably still feel like it is because they keep thinking about you. But that ain't got nothing to do with you. Because people conjure up people all the time. When they're not supposed to. And guess what happens? Bad things start to happen. And I want to know why this devil keep crossing. And what's going on with this tower. And I want to know who the fuck this person is. Because you got somebody here for the past couple of weeks and, and months. That just can't seem to let you let your little energy go. Whatever you have given them or dished out to them. They still can't leave it. And I'm really not. I'm really trying to figure out why they can't. But this just throwing me off. Tell me why the devil here is crossing, please. Why is he crossing? Because I feel like this person is going to come in with some unhinged type of energy. They're going to come in like they love you and care about you. And being super attached here and clingy. But they're coming in very, you know, the devil is, is just not good at all. Very sexual, hard, clingy, unstable, toxic. This person is coming in with some type of karmic codependency, though. Okay, this is a knot of coins that's going to be coming in here. Um, strong cap energy. This person is stubborn. This could be somebody from your past, though, okay, Pisces? This could be whoever this, whoever this knot of coins. This is not y'all. Whoever this clingy, codependent energy here, they coming in very good looking on a horse with some type of money offer. They know you like money. They coming in practical. You have two of wands is reconciliation and, and um, wanting to talk and reach out and plan something. Talk about this knot of uh, coins. Tell us more. Princess of coins. Yeah, here it goes. You got somebody that wants you. To a cuffs energy. They want to come to an agreement and a companionship. They got mutual feelings for you. Like I said, this could be somebody new, present, or from the past. Let me ask. Let me see. Yes or no cards. I think I want to ask, does, does this person already know Pisces? Does this Knight of Coins, Two of Cups, Devil Energy already know Pisces? Let's ask. Does this Knight of Coins, Two of Cups, Devil Energy already know Pisces? Does this energy already know Pisces? Sorry, y'all. I had cards slip out my hand. And that one slip on the damn thing oh see there they go and i'm trying to shuffle and they just keep slipping off like they don't want nobody to know what's going on okay
does this person already know Pisces? Okay, it says no. So this may be somebody new or they could be masking themselves too because I don't think they know you yet. Or they don't know the real you yet. Or they don't know you at all anymore. You know what I'm saying? So... Okay, like I said, this could very well be somebody new coming towards y'all. Okay, Tower, tell us what's finna happen. Chaos. Conflict. You got the higher font that came out in reverse. This person don't lives up to what they say they do. Taurus energy for sure. We gonna see if this is somebody from the past. I don't think this person knows you like they think they know you page of wands energy this person is childish they always laughing at some shit right here with that is this person from the past is this an old person is this an old person from the past angels and ancestors is this an old person from the past says no hmm so is this a new person yes okay it's a new person so there's gonna be a new person coming they not coming this person's a little childish though this looks like this is somebody you could be possibly going to be dealing with and they got a lot of obsessions and temptations here that they need to overcome. Right here with the magician, they have to have willpower. And they got to concentrate. But this person wants to build with you and they want a two of cups. This person don't yet know you all that well yet. Y'all might have just met a couple of months ago. You don't know a person until you're five years involved with their ass. I don't care what nobody say. Five years and more, that's how you know you with the person you know. You got to be with them at least over five years to know who you're dealing with. Even then, you probably don't even know who the fuck you're dealing with. This is not somebody from the past. This is somebody new. But they could be unpredictable here. So watch out for this new person that's coming in right here, Pisces. They're a little unpredictable. Now, you got this person here with this four coins energy, death energy, eight of swords. Tell us about this energy. We're going to pull four more cards on this person. Tell us about this person. Who is this person? First off, is this the same person? Cards going to tell us. Is this the same person? Yes or no? No or yes. Is this the same person? Oh, no. It's not. This is somebody else, y'all. This is somebody else. This is not the same person. Okay. This is not the same person. All right. So we got two energies here. And I've been seeing that. Y'all been having like two people pop up. You got a king of coins here. Sword, yeah, a lot of sword energy here. This person is cold blooded. Cause you got them swords in reverse. It look like one of them in reverse and the other one not. This person is sword energy. Tell me about this other person. They in the nine of wands. They out of control here, Pisces. They're gonna be very defensive when they try to come to you. They're gonna be overwhelmed. This person is not worth your time. They're going to cause a lot of, like, battle with you. You know what I mean? 
this person ain't gonna really tell you how they feel it's a lot of it's nine of wands energy somebody that's beat up toe up to the flow up they gonna try to approach you differently though this time pisces this person probably in the mirror trying to figure out how the fuck they gonna reach out to you like should i do this should I? they beating they self up tell me more about this tell me about this other person tell us more about them Oh, yeah, they want a new beginning here. But everything is unknown here. The fool, the card, it could go it could go left or right. Okay? So nobody know how this is going to turn out. This is like um, a mystery box. Y'all ever seen those before? This is what this is giving me, a mystery box. She don't know what the fuck this person is going to do. They coming off a bit mysterious themselves right there with death. They want a new beginning, but they're not coming out. You got a king of coins keep trying, trying to show out. This person could be. <sighs> yep, they watching you too. Page of Swords is at the bottom of that deck. You got a queen of wands here. They see you as this sexy, outgoing, charming, confident man or woman, king, king of wands. There we go. Damn. King and queen came out. Oh, wow. You got the king and the queen here. Y'all very, like, spicy... Yeah, this looks like somebody from the past. Cause this ain't the same person. This king look good. This queen look beautiful. Look at them. Do you want fire? Or do you want water? This is what this is giving. This is giving me passion, fire, hot sex, fast life. This is what this is giving me. This is giving me settle down, wife, husband. Yeah, you got somebody here that's a little roughneck, a little crazy, can't get over you, tied in, stuck with you, loving on you. Then you got somebody here that just wants to marry you. And wants to see a future where you got a water here and you got fire here with swords. And you got water here with fire and, and, and coins. You got a lot of coins over here. Fire and coins and water. And you got the whole... You got the world here. The world is in your hands here, Pisces. I don't know what you gonna do. You are the queen, king of cups. So you already know what's gonna happen here. You not stupid. Well, damn. Okay, let's see something here. Should this king and queen of wands be together? Yes. Oh, wow. Should this two of cups be together? Should 
should this two of cups be together? And this is the saying yes to this one. Should this two of cups be together? Yes. Well, damn. It's saying yes to both parties. Whew. Well, this got hot. All right. Um, let's talk more about this two of cups. All right, all right, let's clean this up. Let's clean this up. All right. So, angels and ancestors want you to probably try to be with both, but you can't have both. Yeah, you can't have both, Pisces, baby. You can't have both. You can't have your cake and ice cream and eat it, too. Ooh, the ancestors is messy tonight, huh? Damn. All right. I want to know more about this Two of Cups, though. Let's see. Two of Cups, lover, what do you want to say? I'm going to pull two cards for you. This is somebody who loves you. What do you want to say? Why do I feel this way? Yeah, this person feels deep for you. I don't know why you feel this way. Tell us more. I wish I could be a different person. This person sometimes wants to be different. You know what I mean? I don't think you would change them though. I think I think they good the way they are, but sometimes I think they may be too hard on themselves. And like I said, they may go through their little addictions, their little ups and downs. Okay, so let's see more. What's going on? What's going on with you? Let's see. Figure out what sign you is. You a water sign? Let's pick two cosmic insights. I see moving right here with this two of cups. Y'all might be moving in. Commitment came out. Things are getting serious between you up that ring. This person may want to marry you, Pike. That's what I'm saying. Whoever this person is, it says find out more information. Don't overwork yourself, but be careful, okay? Because there's still stuff here with you and this person that hasn't been yet discussed all the way. You know what I'm saying? But open your heart right here. It will help you attract more. I feel like you need to take your time still with this person. We're going to pull. Four cosmic insights. I mean. Four yin yang oracles. Tell us something. You got lunar eclipse. It says time in about three months. Subconscious reveal. New emotion cycle. Seeing clearly divine aid endings, okay? Get you guys gotta be deep, deeply involved right here for this lunar eclipse. Uh, I forgot to see when the next one is. But um shit, I ain't gonna be in for a while, right? <laughs> but um a lot of things are gonna be about y'all emotions here. Y'all gonna get deeply emotionally invested here. This person could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a fire sign here. They got fire in a chart, probably. And then right here, control tactics. Somebody might want to be in control here. So be careful. And you got, it might call a separation between y'all if this person gets a little controlling. Because I do see this person popping up as the devil a little bit. But they not popping up all the way right here with their shadow side. So please be careful of their little moon side that they have. Because their moon side could be a little scary, okay? 
But let's see what's going on right here with this Island Time Wellness cards. This person may be a bit controlling. You might like that though, Pisces. You know. Give us one. We want one and we're going to go to. Okay, stab in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock and attack. There may be some type of separation here between you guys. Be careful. And it may have something to do with control. This may happen during that lunar eclipse. But you got the phoenix here. New face, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change, mind. Now, what I see what's going to happen with this relationship is that y'all finna go through some ups and downs with this person. For a lot of y'all, this person is here already. And for some of y'all, they're on their way because I did see that this person is not here yet. They don't know you yet. For some of y'all, they already here and they don't know you as well because they just met you. So... You may get stabbed in the back with this person with some type of separation or heartbreak or some type of pain. And this doesn't necessarily mean cheating. They may say something wrong, get emotional, or y'all may just, you know, not get along on a certain level. But I feel like the Phoenix is going to come in. It's going to help y'all. It's going to help you guys separate that, that pain. You guys are going to transform, transform into something better and be more happier. Okay. But there, I don't see nothing bad with this situation here. And we're going to go ahead and pull two of these when the hearts meet cards. And I got some more cards I wanted to pull. Oh, this one didn't even. Okay. You got two people who want you. It says obstacles. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. This is what I'm seeing here. Y'all finna go through some hell and high waters. You and this person. It's got a lot to do with the head, the mind. And you guys are gonna have to have, it's like the battle of the sexes. Y'all gonna have to put y'all differences aside and think with y'all heads. You know what I mean? So it's gonna cause some type of breakage. You know? Cause somebody gonna wanna somebody gonna get too far ahead of themselves here. Y'all gonna have to learn from each other, you and this person. Let love show you how to learn from each other. Exactly. So this is gonna be a, a tough relationship. But this is gonna be to me worth the fight because it looks like it might be a wedding at the end of this 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 um this fight. A lot of y'all Pisces, y'all ready to get married. Y'all not trying to sit around. A lot of y'all are ready, like, hey, man, say, man, y'all gonna have to put the ring on my finger, man. You know what I'm saying? Or, mama, you gonna have to let me put this ring on your finger because I'm tired of waiting. Somebody here is ready for that next step, but it's gonna be a lot of that lunar eclipse energy. It's gonna be them ups and downs, smiles and frowns. It's gonna be a lot of that. And let me see what the life card gotta say. I'm gonna pull one up out of this one. What do we need to know? Life card, crossroad cards. Call them crossroad cards. What do we need to know? And it says what? Guilt. And there's going to be some guilt and shame here. You know, somebody might feel guilty about a lot of things. And may feel a little insecure too with this devil right here shaming this man. I feel like y'all already kind of feel like that a little bit. And there is a separation. Somebody feeling guilty about something here. I feel like it's going to get better. Because, I mean, that does tend to happen when there's a separation. Two people, they can't really, you know, see eye to eye here. Because they feeling guilty. And it, it, does, it does happen. People do start to feel guilty. True emotions card. And we gonna pull one. Then I got another card I wanna pull for this. Come on, tell us something. I see turning y'all back. Y'all might have to turn y'all back from each other for a little while. If this relationship look like it's just, you know, it might have been a lot of fighting and stuff here. I don't see it as being too much of a karmic. I just feel like y'all got a lot of learning to do. 
when it comes down to this one. But that's how it is. You're supposed to learn. We're going to pull two out of the true emotions. Tell us something, true emotions. You guys got to mirror each other. You got to start looking up in that mirror. Mirroring mistakes and stuff like that. A love message at the bottom, though. But I see this being a love message here. You guys are going to be just fine in this situation here. This person could very well off just be a person that you just want to stay friends with, too. For some of you guys. And then let's see what the dog cards got to say. Let me get y'all a heart shape card. All right, what does she want to say? She says, ladder and fairy. Fairy. A clear solution. So mama going to come in with a clear solution right here, 24. Things are going to be clear for you and this person. Whatever gets, you know, foggy is going to, you know, become clear at some point. Tell us something, heart cards. It says, manifest miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Keep following your heart with this relationship. This is so cute. This person very, very well may be your twin flame, too at the bottom here so don't give up on this situation this is just gonna be an up and down situation all right well let's talk about this one right here you got this king of wands and this queen of wands you got a king and a queen here hmm. what's up talk to us king and talk to us queen let's see what you guys gotta say to each other it's like you two are here all right, well, let's talk. Let me zoom in. All right, tell us something, King. Tell us something, Queen. What's going on between y'all relationship? Switch roles, King Pisces. Switch roles, Queen Pisces. It says, no one understands me but you, okay? Maybe that's how this king feels. What about you, queen? How do you feel about the king? Looks like it wanted to, you wanted to come out and say it's all too much. That's like what you wanted to say. Ugh. You don't want to talk, do you, queen? You just got me dropping all types of stuff. Oh, you want to know, is it over? Okay, queen. You want to know if it's over. So this king is saying no one understands me, but you Pisces, male, female, king. This Pisces, Pisces king, this woman wants, want, oh my God. Pisces queen. This king wants to know, wants you to know, no one understands you but them. Pisces king, this this woman wants to know. Oh my God, I keep getting y'all confused. This is just a lot. <laughs> Let me do it again. Pisces queen, this man wants you to know no one understood them but you. Pisces king, this queen wants you to know that you know she still wants you probably and she wants to know is it over so let's see what do you got to say king what do you want to say to the queen what do you want to say i know i crossed the line with you yeah they know they crossed lines with you what do you want to say queen I remember every detail of that day. Okay, so you remember how things went and how things got crossed here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get into some cosmic insights about y'all situation too. Let's see. Tell us something. Okay, I see they'll be back, and I see water sign, and I see patience. Uh-oh. 
Somebody finna come back for you. It says, Guardian, a love lost one watches over you, probably you and them. Uh oh. I want both of y'all to show. What else? Tell us more. It says moving. Change the residence. Moving in with your partner. This person wants to move in with you. Or you may want to move in with them. Uh-oh. Okay. Tell us something, um, Yin Gang Oracle. Pull four. Tell us more about this king, queen of wands. Y'all got a lot of fire with this person. Somebody feel guilty right here. They sabotaged something here. It could have been this king. Something about autumn and harvest. We are in harvest season. This person might be on their way to come to you. Or something happened around this time. Harvest season. Tell us more. I've seen opportunities, leap, freedom. They thinking about you. Memories. Well. Alchemy ancestor, guys. The ancestors may be trying to guide y'all back. Well, um, tell us something then. Island time wellness cards. Break it down, too. Date. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan to say that this person want to come on a date. They want, to, they want, they trying to make, you know, make it seem like they brand new. Yeah, this person wants to come in, like, on some new stuff. They want to plan something. They want to come in a new them. Lightning, sudden change, shocking new surprise in the pimmy up. This person finna come in and shock you. They coming in, though. They about to chase you. The chaser, relationship, fear of abandonment issue. They don't want to be abandoned. They coming in. They about to chase you. Wow. Okay, y'all may know who this person. Ooh, my feet, my feet hurting. Just got a little, little stabbing in my foot right here. I even know who the hell this is, child. This ain't even about me. Okay, so talk about it. They coming in. Want to go on a date deeply? Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships. Okay. They want you to find your soul purpose. They want to come in. They want to see if you deeply still care about this. Do you deeply still care about this relationship? They still got feelings. Take time out to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. I feel like y'all both still got feelings for each other. Yeah, the feelings is there. Yeah, they most definitely there. Uh... Talk about true emotions between you and this person. True emotions. One to start off. Shocking news. Yep, you about to get some shocking news. Heartbreak, yeah, it was some heartbreak here. This person still loves you and still care about you. This person coming off strong. Ooh. 
we. Okay, so tell us some crossroad cards about this person. Enlightenment. You are this person's light. They feel so very could be in the way though. Them, you know, them looks. Be careful. Tell us something. Tell us something, dog cards. It says, mend a broken heart fairy. She says, healing from heartache. This person hasn't healed from their pain. This person coming off strong. Tell us more what they want to say with these heart shaped cards. What, what does these heart-shaped cards want to tell Pisces in this person? Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims it simply allows and gives. And at the bottom it says time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Yeah. There's going to have to be some time between you and this person. Because I don't think the hearts have been healed. Well. Let's see what angels want to say. We about to go ahead and get up out of here, y'all. It's a long video. What do you guys want to say to Pisces? Something to get ready to happen within the next few months. And the angels from the Bible scripture card want y'all to know. Heavenly Father, what you want us to know. All right. It says, love one another as I have loved you. That is John 15, well, no, John 13, 34. All right, Pisces, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. This was deep. You got two people, one person here that's going to have, you're going to have problems and deal with some ups and downs, but this person ain't finna leave you, that person that was before this person. But this person right here still got a lot of heartbreak and pain and memories and, and lost time and feelings for you and wants to come back in they want to rekindle. They want to love again. Take you on a date. Do things. They come coming in kind of hot. They may be coming in around this time, Pisces. I don't know what decision you're going to make. Like I said, you're going to pick fire over water. Or water over fire. You know, they don't mix it. They will boil, honey. And that pot will tip over to next time. I love y'all. Bye.